Hey, Backgammon friends. I'm back with part two of my Backgammon board collection and some reflections on the boards that I've had over the last year and a half or two. Um, when I look back on my videos and the boards that I'm actively involved with, the last four or five boards that I've got um, are all from FM Gammon in one form or another. A couple of them are Backgammon Galaxy boards, specifically the Void board and the Earth board. Uh, but other than that, I have, you know, three FM boards, uh, including this beautiful Talat full-size tournament board made out of mahogany with interchangeable surfaces. I've got a, uh, a Hera board, which is made out of beech wood and is more of a black on black with leather that I'm going to show you in a minute. And then there's the Earth board, of course, which is very popular and shown a lot online, uh, both in Backgammon and Galaxy and other tournaments. That's more of a compact board um, that's solid wood. And that, and I'll show you all these. And, and the Void board as well, which I played on about a year ago in San Antonio. So this is the Talat board. This is made out of pure mahogany, and it's held up really well to play. Um, it has some very, very slight uh, signs of, you know, of use, uh, particularly just a little bit of you know, marks around some of the areas where you'd like put the checkers or like where you'd expect dice to be rolling. But other than that, it's held up really, really well. It's just a beautiful full-size board. And of course it comes with changeable services that you can put out. So it came with the, uh, the, the sort of tacky wood grain services that I'm going to show you in my hair board in a second. But this board just sounds great. It just has the beautiful patina of these checkers hitting. Um, that kind of stuff. Whoops. Uh, double fives. So this kind of personality. Fives again. Hmm. Interesting. Two, three. That kind of thing. So let me show you the Hera board, and then uh, you can kind of see how these interchangeable services look with different with different boards. So the other uh, board that I got, which I received from FM Gammon as a surprise birthday gift, is this Hera board, which I have, uh, you know, ensconced in a cover that my mom made from an interesting fabric that was available at a fabric store nearby. Uh, these covers are still available. She can make them custom order from different fabrics uh, that we can show you ahead of time. So it's a cool way to protect your board. This board in particular has uh, beech wood and black leather um, so it's it's got just a an interesting look to it and i have it set up with um the taki services the the wood grain surfaces that are available as an option uh, from fm gammon and so this is another example of a board that has a lot of personality in terms of its sounds um, it looks great with these wood grain surfaces. Um, I really like playing on this board as well. It's a huge board, just like the Talat. So it's a tournament size board, very big, but uh, just plays really, really great. Let's see. Comes with a couple precision dice. And then you've got like a six one, so. Sounds wonderful. Probably went all the way with a 3-6. 6-5. Hmm. That's an interesting one. I think you just probably race on that. 3-2. So you can see this one's also got like, you know, it's nice feel to it as well. Beautiful colors. Uh, let me move on to the void board or, or the earth board. Which one should I do next? I'll do the Void Board, which is another massive tournament size board, and you can see what that looks like. It's 
So this is the uh, Backgammon Galaxy Void Board, uh, which is a tournament-sized board, massive board, encased in leather. And the cool thing about the, the Void Board is it comes with these flat, matte, you know, sort of matte finish checkers, which are just very eye-catching and very kind of uh, bright. And uh, I mean, I don't find them distracting, but uh, I think some players have mentioned that on online before. But I, I just think they're really cool looking. Um, it has kind of the built-in bear-off trays, similar to the Monte Carlo, Carlo board that we've seen lately in the um, the Ultimate Backgammon Championship match between um, uh, Mochi and Sander Liloff. So this is just a really cool board that also comes with a variety of different inserts and checkers, from the earth green to the gray and black that comes with this originally, and the black and white checkers, which I found a little hard to distinguish. But you can do purple, red, yellow, and I think the Galaxy Blue looks really good. Um, plus, it also just plays nice with the, uh, the sound of the wood as well. Do I not have dice on this one? Oh, no, I do. Okay, here we go. So, let's see. Let's do 3-1. Um, I think they were going to use a void board for the UPC recently, and, and for some reason couldn't get it, so they had to use a... Uh, you had to use a Monte Carlo board, which is basically the same thing with just a different color scheme, but the same bear, uh, bear off trays built in and it has more of a wood grain finish. So maybe I'll get one of those and show those one day. Anyways, let me go on last to the Earth board, which is fundamentally a different board than all of these. These are full size boards, tournament size boards. The Earth board is a compact board that has a, some built in hardware that you can use. And it's just a really cool alternative to these uh, larger size uh, tournament size boards. Let me turn to that one. Okay, the last board that I want to talk about that I've had in the last year, year and a half, and that also came from Backend and Galaxy's collaboration with FM Gammon is the Earth board which is a really interesting board, and I really like it a lot. I play on it a lot. Um, it comes with this vinyl carry bag, which has a shoulder strap. And then once you take it out and get it on the table, you can see that it's fundamentally um, a more compact board than the other tournament size boards that I've had. It comes with this uh, inner sort of container that holds the checkers and the cube, et cetera. You can take it entirely out if you want. You can use it as a stand. Um, and then you just basically, you know, play as normal, but it's got a nice deep set. Uh, like it's, it's a little deeper than the other boards, even though it's more compact. Um, I have the moon inserts in here now, which are uh, gray and like sort of off white but I'm using the earth checkers, which are the flecked green checkers, which I really love. And these white checkers are also slightly marbled as well. Um, this is just a really, really nice board. I play on it a lot, I would say. And um, it just, it looks great. And it's, it holds up, you know, it travels well. And it just looks really, really good with the, with the other color checkers. You can get the galaxy colors. You can get the earth inserts, which are the green and white for sure. Um, but this is just, just a really nice looking setup and um, just a really nice board. This is why it's used a lot in tournaments. Um, so again, I bring this out when I, I go play live over the board with friends. Um, so, you know, these are the boards I've been using. Uh, the, these FM boards, um, which are being you know, used in a lot of online tournaments, or rather tournaments that are being shown on streaming, um, are just all really, really nice from a price point of anywhere from like $800 to about $1,000. So it's, you know, a small investment for sure, but there are boards that I think will last for a very, very long time. They hold up really well. I haven't really seen anything other than a few scratches maybe on the veneer of this earth board, but that's the price you pay for, you know, a, a board that's meant to kind of travel around a little bit. So, you know, good luck with your uh, future backgammon board purchases. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. 
And uh, I appreciate people's feedback on getting a microphone, which as you can tell I did, so hopefully the audio is better on these videos. But also know that I do edit the captions to my videos, so they're all very accurate and you can follow along really easily with those too. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you in the next unboxing video.